Everyone has definitely heard the word AI like a million times by now. From chat GPT to Project Shasta by Adobe, or do you remember Lenza AI from like two months ago? So no doubt AI is the next big thing. And while everyone's talking about chat GPT or Project Shasta, I thought maybe I could talk about the less popular AI apps. Replica. This one's a little bit weird, but essentially it's a chatbot companion powered by AI. And I'm going to get to the mind blowing part in a bit, but to set it up, you're going to need your name, your gender, date of birth, your interests, then you edit your avatar. Name it, design its hair, skin color, all that stuff, and you're basically done. It's kind of free, but there are features that would be hidden behind a paywall. But here's what you get with a free mode. You can text your chatbot and it would surely reply you, unlike my friends. Anyway, the mind blowing part is the AR mode. So basically you can have your avatar, you know, the one you just created, appear in real life, kinda. And the cool part is you can still have a conversation with him or her. I thought that was pretty cool. Just like the other apps in this list, the app is free, but limited. So if you want to, for example, video call your chatbot, you would have to pay for the pro version. You want your avatar to be more than friends. You have to pay as well. Crazy, I know. But that's Replica, an interactive AI chatbot. Dream. This is kind of like Lenza AI, but kind of free. So just like Lenza AI, it uses AI to create artwork. You could type in a prompt like alien space station, pick a style, and this part is optional, but you can actually also add an image. Hit create, and that's it. It creates four images from your prompt. You only get one, and you have to pay to get all four. Also in the styles section, some styles are locked and you would have to pay to unlock them. Also, there are ads playing in the app, but if you want to remove all of those ads and get all the premium benefits, you can pay 1,900 Naira per month or 84,900 for lifetime access. Personally, I wouldn't pay for this. Like, I think this is the same reason I didn't try out Lenza AI. I just didn't really see why I would have to pay. But if you're like a graphic designer or something of that sort, you might actually see the benefit of, you know, paying for this. But it still blows my mind is that you could write text and in seconds, it would turn your text into an image. That's crazy. Riz. If you're on TikTok, then you've definitely heard this word before, Riz, but this time it's an app, an AI app that helps you generate quick responses. So for example, you want to write a quick email asking your boss for a raise, you type in the prompt, it spits out your paragraph. You need a caption for an Instagram post, you insert a prompt and boom, it spits out a sentence. So that's essentially what it does. You could create the Riz inside the app or outside the app. To set that up, you want to go into settings, general, keyboard, add new keyboard, select Riz, then select allow all access. And now you can come up with these lines in any app. There are different tones to choose from as well, depending on who you're talking to and then different purposes as well. Now this app won't completely blow your mind because it feels like a low budget chat GPT, but at least it's free. So do you think this is cool? Do you see yourself using this app or any of the apps that we mentioned? Let me know in the comments. This is probably the first time I've made a video about cool apps that you could check out. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. Also drop a comment, subscribe obviously, and I'll see you when you see me.